Hello, uh, second video looking at um, finding the equation of a, of a graph um, by working out what the gradient and the y-intercept would be. Um, so let's start with this one here. Um, let's find the gradient to begin with. So if we are moving along by 1, how far up on the x-axis, uh, uh, on the y-axis, sorry, um, are we travelling? Now what you can see here, and hopefully I'm you can see this clearly enough, um, is that if I go from minus 2 up to minus 1, I've travelled along by 1. Now how far have I actually gone up on the y-axis? Well you can see here that 2 is there, 3 is there, I've only gone half of the way up. So what I could say is that my gradient here is half. Um, let's not use green over there, let's use uh, say yellow. Um, my gradient there is a half um, because all that I'm doing is when I'm moving along by one on the x-axis I'm only moving up by half on the y-axis. Now the uh, y-intercept, where is my y-intercept? Well that's simply the point at which the graph is cutting through um, the y-axis um, and that the what means that the y-intercept is at plus. Oops, done it again. Um, the y-intercept is going to be at plus um, three. So my equation for this graph would be y equals half x plus three. Um, next one. Here um, you can see that we're going to have a negative gradient. <clears throat> because when we are moving along by 1 on the x-axis we're moving down on the y-axis so if we are going from um, let's it doesn't matter where we start but let's start at minus 2 if we um, are moving along by 1 on the x-axis so going from minus 2 up to minus 1 we are moving down on our y-axis by um, 4. So um, let's label this. We've moved along on our x-axis. We've moved along by 1. How far down have we moved? Well, we've gone from 8, 7, 6, 5 to 4. Um, so we've gone down by 4. So we would say that the gradient for this one here is going to be um, negative 4 and the y-intercept um, in this case the y-intercept is actually at 0 where is the graph cutting the y-axis it's cutting the y-axis at this point here which is 0 so that means that our y-intercept is 0 which means we, if, what we're saying then is that our final um, equation will be y equals minus 4x. We don't need to include the y-intercept in this because if we add on 0 or take away 0 that doesn't really mean anything. So our final answer here would simply be y equals minus 4x.